Hey, science fans! Hey, I'm Ryan from the Saskatchewan Science Center. Thank you so much for joining me today for Science at Home, where we show you how to do really cool science demonstrations with things that you probably already have laying around. Today, I'm gonna show you how to defy gravity with nothing more than a cardboard box and a few pieces of string. Today on Science at Home, we're gonna explore the world of centripetal force. This is a great, fun, simple activity that the whole family can get involved in. You will need a few supplies, so let's just take a look at what I have here. The first one is a cardboard box. It doesn't need to be too big. It can be a little bit smaller than this one or a little bit bigger than this one, but something with a bottom that's about the size of a serving tray would be really helpful. Also, if the bottom isn't taped already, you're probably gonna wanna go ahead and do that just to make sure that it's really strong. Next, you're gonna need four pieces of string. Um, these are about six feet long, which should work out pretty well. You'll need some scissors. And last, you're gonna need a plastic cup that we're gonna fill about halfway up with water. I'm gonna move my string over here. And what we wanna do is cut this box down so that it's about maybe three inches deep. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna start right here. Ta-da! The important part when you're cutting this is to not have these sides too short. The sides will add a lot of strength and rigidity to the bottom of this, which is gonna be really important later on. The next step is gonna to be to attach one of our strings to each corner of the tray. You can poke a hole in the corner with your scissors or with a pencil, or if there's already a little hole uh, just from where the cardboard is folded, you can take advantage of that as well. Now that I've got my holes punched, I can thread the string through and then tie a couple of knots on it. You'll notice that I put these holes about halfway between the top and the bottom of this cardboard tray. You want lots of material up here because that will provide you the most strength for when we actually start to use this tray. And that's it, we're done. With this tray, we are gonna defy gravity. So let me show you a little bit about how this is gonna work. We, what we wanna do is take all of our strings and pull them up so that we can suspend the tray from them. These strings are actually a little bit long, which is fine. And what we really need to do here is just find the point where they're going to meet and um, have about an extra 30 centimeters of string. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these a little bit. The exact length of the string is going to depend on the size of the tray that you used. All right, this is going to work perfectly. So for our next step, we're gonna take our plastic cup and fill it about halfway with water and then place it directly in the center of the tray. Now it's time to learn how to defy gravity. Even though this should work perfectly, I think it's probably a good idea for us to take this demonstration outside. So why don't we head there right now? All right, and now we're outside. So I have my tray that I've created and I'm holding it so that it's level. And I still have my plastic cup about half full of water. And in order to defy gravity, all we need to do is spin this around in a circle. So I like to go back, swing a little bit, and then swing it forward. 
Now, the magic of this isn't so much in swinging it really hard, it's in swinging it just fast enough that the water doesn't spill. And you can look, I spun that around a bunch of times and my tray is completely dry. Pretty awesome, right? Now we can go around in a circle this way, but once we're spinning, we can even go above our head. This way. Just make sure that when you stop, you come back to this and then gently catch it at the bottom. All right, so how does this actually work? Well, what this demonstration shows us is the power of centripetal force. And that is a force that is pulling away from the center of a circle. There are a lot of applications in life where you see this type of thing. One of the examples that school children would be aware of is tetherball. The string holds a ball to a pole and it can spin around and around and around and the ball goes in a circle. If that string or rope wasn't there anymore, the ball would continue off in a straight line. So did we really defy gravity here? Well, no, not really. What happened is that the centripetal force kept the water in the cup and it kept the cup on the tray. One of the really cool future potential applications for this is in outer space. If you had a spaceship or a space station and you rotated it as it traveled, you could potentially create artificial gravity for the inhabitants. It's not unlike what you saw in the movie 2001 at the IMAX. Well, thank you so much for joining me today for Science at Home, and I hope that you thought this was a really cool demonstration, and I really hope that you give it a try. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you're notified every time we post a new video. Have a great science day.